and welcome. I'm Frederick Ekemark. Today we are here outside the El Nino Surf Center in Campostilla and I'm checking out a new wing and a new brand for many. Have you ever heard of Vayu? The Hindu wind god is air, space and the power of the water. Well, stay with me as we check out this new wing from Vayu. You are up for a treat. This is a new brand that came in the market last year and are making quality products for us wing foil riders. A group of professionals with the motto, fly the ocean. Well, this will be an interesting review. Today, we are looking at the Vayu Wing version two. I want to begin by saying that Vayu have sent me this wing for free to test and review. But with no strings attached, I will make my normal, no-nonsense review based on my experience as a rider, checking it out and testing the wing. And then I will sh share my thoughts and experiences with you. Are you looking to get a new wing? Is this Vayu version 2 a wing that could interest you? That and many more details is what we will look into in this review. The Vayu brand started with a group of water people and riders wanting to create quality gear by riders for riders. Now that is a great start of a brand. In this review, I will go through the features of the wing. I will look at the bag, I will look at the design of the wing, the material, test riding of course, the handles, the leash, the price and known issues. We will then sum it up with who is this wing for? And in conclusion, should you buy it? The Ving version 2 comes with a sausage bag. It has a big as it has to be. I like it. It has a shoulder strap as well as handles. This makes it easy to handle and carry. Some bungees to attach your pump or a towel maybe. It's good thinking. A bag is just a bag, right? Well, if the bag is well designed, you have good use of it and it also makes your experience with the wing better. Finally, it's nice to see a bag that comes with mesh material integ integrated to let water and humidity out so the wing dries faster. Two nice pockets on top. The V2 comes with a leash, repair kit, instruction manual and Vayu stickers. All right. Let's uh, open this guy up, take it out and pump it up. And has a bit of a different connector this one to others, but that's not really a problem when connecting the pump. However, one has to be a bit careful how you twist put the cable on all right there we go it is about 100 pumps to fill up to 7 psi the Vayu wing version 2 comes in three different colors blue red yellow blue and red green like the one we see here Key features of the Ving version 2 as stated by Vaya. Overall lighter construction, refined profile and tension distributing rigid, rigid strut frame design, unique bridge boom also available in ultralight carbon the booms. Windows for improved visibility, new reinforcements, state-of-the-art construction. This is what Vaya said. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. To see more videos, click on the subscribe button below. This also supports my work doing more videos. Tell your friends to subscribe and their friends. <laughs> Tell everyone and click on the bell to get notified when I publish new videos. Okay guys, thank you for your support. Why you states further. The, the Ving version 2 features premium high performance D2 ripstop fabric made in Japan. A thinner middle strut and shorter handles with molded attachments fittings lead to an overall lighter wing without compromising durability and performance. 
The combination of double ripstop and Dacron provides unrivaled durability. There are two windows of PVC material. It looks like the early window material, a bit stiffer than the windows on other wings. They work well though. The wing version 2 comes in five different sizes. 3.4 meters, 4.4, 5.4, 6.4 and 7.4. The different wings works in, diff in the following wind ranges specified by VAIO for a rider of 75 kilos with a 1500 square centimeter foil. Oh, that's me! 3.4 is good in 12 to 40, 4.4 10 to 30, 5.4 9 to 25, 6.4 7 to 20 and the 7.4 even bigger. As I have the 5.4 here, I will test the range and we will see. The weight of the VAIO 5.4 is 3.5 kilos. It's not a wing in the lighter segment, but it's not the heaviest either. I guess the weight comes from the PVC windows, the two bars and new extra reinforcements. So beware that it is a bit heavier than the lighter wings on the market. Also that weight is not really an issue if you're riding in the conditions that the wing is designed for. I have tested the value wing during the last month. Out on my test rides, I have had everything from no wind to more than 20 knots. So I've had the possibility to test it well. I've done maybe 15 rides and I can say with a great degree of certainty what I think of this wing. I've been on my 2022 90 liter starboard wing board and the Axis 1050 foot. The board and the foil is a setup that I'm very well familiar with and I've done many sessions this ensures that I have, when I change my wing from the ANSYS, I know very well to the VAYU. It becomes very clear what the VAYU puts in, if anything different, because the only thing that has changed is the wing. The first ride I did was in 70 to 22 knots and the power was good in the wing. It was stable and strong winds. The top range is wing is stated by VAYU to be 25 knots. I think that is very well stated. Since the size I tested is a 5.4, it's a lot of wing to ride in plus 20 knots and it requires to be quite precise in your upwind course. If you fall off too much, the power is quickly going to be very strong. But keep the wing in the sweet spot upwind, the performance and balance of the value of the wing is great. In the medium wind, 13, 17 knots, it works even better. This is the best range for these wings in my experience. In 17 knots, you could change to a smaller wing, a four and a half or even a four would be possible. But riding the value in this wind range is great. You have a lot of power and it's fun wing to ride in those conditions. The weak point of the value is, in my opinion, when you have very little wind. Like if the wind drops, then the weight is noticeable. You need good shoulders and arms to hold it up longer periods. Mind you that this do not happen very often, so really the weight has not been a big concern for me. Biosetis can go from winds in 9 knots and as far as getting up on foil, I can't verify that, that I've been able to get up on foil on my axis 1050 in 9 knots. But give me 11-12 and I'm up. Also in the low wind, the size makes an impact. It's easy to get the wing tips digging in the water when pumping. I experienced that you need to be quite precise in your angle to the wind to get the tips clear uh, of the water when pumping. As I am 184 centimeters, a shorter portion should take this into consideration, or better, go down one size. To the wing's defense is that any wing is big when you pass 5 square centimeters. The size of the 5.4 wing is like the VAIO, is noticeable. The VAIO wing version 254 has about the same size as an F1 stride, 6 meter. What I appreciate is with a nice gust of wind, you pump the wing easy, Thanks, thanks to the very good contact you have with the wings through the handles. And the VAYU gives you good response and power. However, to stay up riding a 9 knots wind, that I can confirm works just fine. The VAYU delivers good power in low winds when you are up on foil. And as we all know, the critical part is to get up on foil, and then we need a bit more power in the wind. I said that the contact with the wing is great. Now, let's look at the handles. The standout feature of this wing are the handles, or as they call them, bridge boom. The bridge boom is two booms with the larger rigid handles. Different from other wings are that these handles are quite large and they are just fantastic outriding. Great! 
the handles are attached to the, ver to the strut in a very, very rigid way. This makes the contact with the wing incredibly good. The boom construction makes micro-adjusting very easy as the handles are long and this helps a lot. This is the first time I've had been, uh, been riding with this type of handles and I can truly say they are spectacular. As you know, if you follow me on my channel, I am a fan of the Ensis wings and their larger handles along the strut. Well, the Vario Wing version 2 has next level of this type of handles. They are also large ones, but this time rigid, and this, this is really great evolution. I would stick my chin out to say I think this is the future of handles on the wings. I can't, it can't get better than this. They are really good. You should try them. I hope to be able to try a Vario Wing in smaller size and stronger winds to see how the handles uh, and the wing works in tough conditions. That would be very exciting. The construction with two booms instead of one long also makes the packing of the wing super easy. As you can fold the strut in between the handles and the size of the wing fits easy in the bag. Vajo says this about the V2. The bridge boom and strut construction has been radically improved from version 1. A subtle change in the positioning makes the wing version 2 visibly more stable. The weight of the handles has been reduced and optional ultralight carbon booms will be available. The leash is a flexing leash and it works great. It is long enough for um, me to be in the water with my leash on my waist belt as I ride and work around uh, the wing in a good way. So, thumbs up for a great leash. The wing version 2 starts at 859 euros here in Spain and tops up at the 1099 euros for a big 7.4 wing. The wing is available for, for delivery worldwide, the version 2 fits well into the market and it's definitely one of the good wings around. The wing reflects at the price very well and you get what you pay for. It is well worth buying. The only thing I have noticed uh, on the wing is that when I've been out riding that the cover on the fitting on the wing here have fallen off uh, in the handles which of, of course that would be easy to just put a new cap on. My thoughts on improvements um, the wing is great and if you should add in some comments and points that could be improved I have these. The valve is very small and in the beginning I had trouble getting it to unscrew like real trouble. After a while I just didn't screw it tight on and it has since then been working well but the valve cap could be bigger to be easier to hold to handle and the little hood that protects the valve should have holes in it so you can close the hood when the wing is deflated to protect sand or other objects to enter into the wing but still let any left air out the handles especially if you like to get a grip at the very front of the back handle then your finger will be squeezed between the handle and the strut and after 40 minute riding it starts to be sore. This is not a great issue but I had to change my grip to hold the handle further back to avoid this. The wing still works great holding it a few centimeters back from the front of the back handle. If you wonder if this wing is for you it could very well be. It has a good power range and handles are fantastic. The Vario is a good as the next wing, but what makes you want to choose this wing is the great handles that makes the riding experience next level. Really great. I would recommend this wing to a beginner as well to an advanced rider. Now how can I say that? Well, as I see it, the size you choose matters a lot, depending on your level and the conditions where you ride as well. A beginner would be great starting out with the 5.4 I have tested. It is big enough and it has enough power in conditions rating from 12 to 17 knots. If you're over 90 kilo, you need to go for a bigger wing. And if you're smaller, you can have a smaller wing. An experienced rider would in the same conditions go for the 4.4 meter and in stronger winds even 
go smaller to the 3.4 for even more fun. Should you buy the Wing version 2? Yes, you should definitely try it out. It is a great wing and the introduction to rigid handles on a wing is next level and alone is worth checking out. The buyer will give you everything you need, choose the right size and you will be happy out riding. Mark my words. I've done uh, the first 50 rides and I appreciate the wing more and more as I learn more about how to get the best out of it. This wing is my go-to wing this year in 10 to 50 knots and I'm very excited about riding with it this summer. Here in Mallorca we get thermic winds in the summer with 10 50 knots every afternoon for 3-4 months or so. Every day. And the Vayu and I will have a lot of fun to look forward to together this summer. So, there you have it. My thoughts and experience with the Vayu Wing version 2. Check it out. Take it out for a ride. Feel the contact of the rigid handles, the power of the winged gods in your hands. You will be happy out riding. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this wing. You can find out more at the manufacturer's webpage at www.bayou.world. And have anyone ridden it yet? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> All right. This is Fredrik Ekmark signing off. Thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell to get notified of new videos coming out. All right. And I will, yes, I will see you in the next video. Stay safe.